Hey friends, welcome back to Law Creations. I was just down here just making a 112 scale accessory and I started adding uh, handles to my to the wooden crate here and I figured you know what I'll show you how I went ahead and and made this so I made a boo-boo here so when you whatever whenever you want to use super glue you on foam you want to use the foam safe super glue which I did and it came out perfect and but then I went ahead and used regular super glue on right here but I ended up getting some right here in the corner and it really deteriorated the foam so and I know I know better than to do that but um I got it on there by mistake so let's go over to this side and and I'll show you guys uh what I use and how I do this it, it's it's very simple very basic uh, it's not unique to me. Uh, everybody probably knows how to do it, but I just wanted to share with you real quickly the process. And um, I'm sure there's a better way. And I'm just showing you, you know, a way and how I'm choosing to do it today. So I use jute string. And this stuff you can pick up for a buck and a quarter at the Dollar Tree. Uh, you get a big roll of it, and it's really good stuff. It does fray quite a bit, but that's the type of rope it is. I'm going to somewhat show you how uh, to deal with that to an extent. And so what we're going to do right now is I just have this little drill bit. And I'm just going to go in and put one hole here. And I'm going to put it in fairly, fairly deep, this way here. It gives a good, uh, good base for the rope to adhere in there. And you just want to kind of keep it nice and lined up. Eyeball it. It's not a big deal if it's not. But that's kind of the idea there. So, and I already added a piece of wood here. Textured it with some wood. I'll paint it up later. I just wanted to go in and show you exactly uh how to make these little handles little rope handles for your crates very simple so then i'm going to take my string and you can see how it's all frayed and i'm just going to i'm just going to twist it as such that's all and then what i'm going to do is pour a little super glue on here that was a little more than I wanted. And we're just going to roll this piece around in it. Because that's going to make it uh, less pliable. And it'll be able to fit a lot better in, in, the, uh, in the hole. So, just to give you an idea. Hope you guys can see that. So I'm going to let that dry because, like I say, it'll it'll eat away my foam if I don't. And what you can come and do here is just trim any fraying parts. I tried one time burning the little frays, and a lot of times it worked, but then... At one point, my whole string caught on fire, so not recommended. Don't do it. Just use some scissors. And you could be here forever. So that gives you an idea. But at a later time, you can also go in with some more. You know what? That's what we'll do. I'm going to... We're going to use a little more super glue as, as soon as I can find it. Don't mind my desk. I got nine million things going on here at once. And let me just see if I have enough on here to get this stuff to not act up, which I do. And my super glue is right there in front of me. So there's there's your string. That's your rope for your handle. If you need to, you can go in and you can measure. You know, so this is all dry. So I have Bob Smith foam safe super glue. So I recommend that you can use white glue. You can probably use hot glue, 
But hot glue, I think, would melt your foam because it, the foam's so thin. So this stuff I really recommend. This is, uh, it's super glue, but foam safe. Not sure of the, uh, the process behind it, but it does work. It cures quickly. So you can see the holes there. So I'm going to drop quite a bit of glue in here. And it's not going to take too, too much. And then we're going to take one end of our jute string. And we're going to feed it. And that's the purpose of the super glue is to give that give that piece a nice nice base to feed in there. And you can see how it's it doesn't I got the glue on the foam and it does not eat away your foam like like the regular glue does there. I mean that I can get away with that. It'll, it'll just look like maybe some weathering or some damage, but at the end of the day I didn't want to do that and that happened by mistake so anyway but this is already taking you can see there so let me see if i need to trim this and let me see if it's kind of the same length as the other handle uh what do you think Might have to trim it just a little bit. Just a little bit. And I think we'll be golden. Now I'm looking for my scissors. And here they are. So we're just going to trim it a bit. And now we're going to feed the other end in. Get some good, get a good dousing of the glue here. And voila. There's your handles. Once it's all painted up and and secure, it'll look all nice and look original, look and it'll be perfect for 112 scale figures. But that's just a little idea, guys, of if you want to add handles to your crates and Make, a, make it a little more realistic, a little more detailed to them. Okay? And you can do it. You, you can do it cheap. Like I say, that that uh, this particular rope was a buck and a quarter. You can pick up one of these uh, super glues to put on the rope, but don't use it on the foam, obviously. Foam safe super glue. So it's, it's a life changer. <laughs> but yeah. There you go. And then you can even you can kind of adjust it a little bit. So but this one has a little bit. There you go. Give you an idea of what it looks like. Okay. I hope this is helpful. Forgive my babbling. I hope uh, the camera work was okay. And I hope you use this going forward in your uh with your own accessories, okay? Take care, folks. Enjoy.